My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Wow, I'll take this paint in the 55 gallon drum. This is amazing bright red color. It makes this car pop. This is a real 1937 Ford, all steel, steel floors, fenders, body. It's the real deal, uh, slick as can be, uh, really, really nice, comfortable street rod, nice 350 motor, air condition, four adults sit in there comfortably, and it's going to turn some heads. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study 100 pictures or more. And that's where you find price tags on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, so underneath this car is really clean. It looks to me like it has its original frame and floors. And they're smooth metal. They're not pitted. Uh, nice clean uh, satin black frame and floors. The front end looks like it's been replaced recently. It, it looks like a Heights uh, type of independent front end. Uh, so that whole clip has been replaced. <clears throat> it has rack and pinion steering. Uh, it has new spindles. It has coil over shocks, uh, chrome tubular control arms. In back, it's got leaf springs. It looks like Bilstein gas shocks. There's a sway bar <coughs> tucked up under there as well. You look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. I think it's a chrome oil pan. Uh, the starter looks new. The flywheel cover looks new. It has a 700 R4 overdrive automatic transmission with a remote oil cooler. The drive shaft's been rebuilt. And it's a Ford 9-inch rear end in the back, and I think it has 3 to 1 ratio gears, a nice cruising gear. <clears throat> uh, it has a composite fuel tank in the back, a real nice exhaust system, nicely bent, goes right through the frame, and it has polished stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers and some nice polished uh, tips coming out the back as well. Uh, obviously, they got the stance adjusted just right. Uh, I think it's sitting, sitting beautifully. Uh, what else we got under there? Disc brakes in front, they're drum and back, uh, stainless braided hoses, the brake lines look new, uh, e-brake assembly is hooked up. So now the body. Again, it's all steel. Uh, you open the hood with the hood ornament just like you know you did originally, and it is straight. I don't see a ripple. This is actually amazingly straight. To be honest with you, I've walked around the car. This is the first time I'm looking at it closely, and I'm impressed. I see the reflection of our lights like a mirror. Uh, there's no waves or ripple. This is like glass. Uh, amazing body. I think they call it a slant back. Yeah, the fenders are all metal, too. I put a magnet on just to make sure I don't see any cracks, bubbles, damage. Body is really amazing. This fits beautifully. We've got a third brake light flush mounted into the body. And of course, you got the tail lights right here. Uh, custom uh, gas cap here. You just push it and it pops open. Red welting between the fenders and the body. And again, this is, this is really great, great shape. And the paint, it's, uh, it's, it's red glass. I'm sure I missed a rock chip or a flaw, but I have not found one yet. Even up here, this is all smooth. Oh, they must have the right color. There are some touch-ups. I couldn't even see them. I could feel there are some rock chips that have been touched up very, very well. Any of the trim, bumpers, all shiny. I think those are plastic covers, it feels like, over the headlights. All this stainless is buffed out like chrome. Uh, the rubber grommets down here around the brackets. Everything's very neat, tidy. You got a power antenna. You got a curved windshield that no longer has the split in the middle. But there's a hairline 
crack right here. I mean, you can barely even see it. Uh, so there is a crack in the windshield. New rubber gasket, all smoked glass. Not the stick on tint, but smoked glass. Uh, no remote door poppers, has real door handles. Uh, rubber on the running boards, you can actually stand on them. New rubber around the windows back here. Rechromed or replaced hinges as the V8 knob uh, for the trunk. So there's the beautiful outside. Oh, I had the wheels, uh, billet specialty wheels. They're 15s in front, 18s in back, Michelin tires all around. And again, just adds to that perfect stance. Now let's go inside the car and check it out. The trunk is actually a lot roomier than you would think. Uh, I don't golf, but I think some golf clubs would fit back here. Certainly a few suitcases for an overnight trip. Uh, underneath the carpet, it does have the sound deadener. Uh, you can see everything is just neat and tidy everywhere you look. Carpet does have the bound edges. The side panels are all upholstered, including uh, inserts for under the trunk lid were made and stuck in there. The weather strip is new. It's got a nice, clean, uh, roomy trunk compartment. The door jams uh, are painted slick. The entire inside of the car is all upholstered to match, but you can see there's some nice design work in the door panels. They're nice and straight. You have a chrome handle and you have a power uh, window switch. The metal is done in like a, a satin or flat gray finish, but all the metal trim is repainted. The dash is neatly done. There's not uh, mismatched or overabundance of goofy stuff. It's very tidy. You have AC vents uh, are built in, uh, the controls. You have a secret audio system. That's for the, the controls for your stereo. That turns on and off your heat, I believe, in the summer. Um, you got a billet insert on the dash, a matching set of VDO gauges. Silk column with a nice polished wood steering wheel. I'm six foot. I fit in here with plenty of room to spare. The seats are reclining adjustable bucket seats. They got good firm uh, feel to them. Very comfortable to sit in. The back seat is upholstered to match the front and the side panels are all done to match. Uh, the headliner is all upholstered to match. Yeah, seat belts for everybody. And again, like the rest of the car, it's just very nice and tidy. There's no, you know, loose parts or anything funny. It's, it, it, nothing looks like it was done in someone's garage. It all looks professionally done. Same as the engine compartment. Very, very tidy. Uh, it's a 350 motor. It has the EnduraShine uh, intake, Edelbrock carb with electric choke, all premium uh, you know, cables and that for the carburetor, dressed up with some finned aluminum valve covers, has a Mallory ignition system. The plug wires are run neatly. Um, you got a polished alternator. There is power steering hidden down there. And then the uh, car runs cool with an aluminum radiator, aluminum water pump. And the passengers are kept cool with a modern air conditioning system. And then the firewall is nice, neat, and clean. Look, it's like a chalkboard. It's so smooth and clean. Uh, nice red top Optima battery with a custom made bracket. It's in there very securely. It has a disconnect switch that you can take out. If you do go overnight somewhere, you take that with you. Uh, it's got headers. Got nice chrome hardware. Has a nice dipstick for the transmission. It's got a chrome horn. Under the hood is painted real glossy. This car is ready to go to a car show right now, this very minute. This thing is very detailed and tidy. You can take the whole family and take your friends with. Four people will fit in there just fine.
So there you have it. I'm very impressed with this car. I really am. I think someone will be very happy to be the new proud owner. Like I said, it's ready to turn key, ready to just drive, show, and go right now. And again, get me about uh, three or four 55-gallon drums of that color. I'll be painting all our cars that red. Uh, it's sharp. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have questions, make sure you ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help you get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance this car as well. It's at volocars.com. I hope you enjoy the videos. If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're going to be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.